Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students and audience. In this video, we will study mean variance, standard deviation, standard error, and coefficient of variation. These are basic parameters which are required for each uh, of uh, the parameter to study in a population. So, first thing we will talk about is population versus sample. So, population is a group of individuals or animals which become part of overall breeding structure in an industry. For example, Sahiwal dairy cattle of Pakistan or Holstein Frisian dairy cattle of Canada. This is a population. It is usually a big size, hundreds and thousands of animals. So it is very hard to go to each and every animal and study their parameters. So what we do is we get a sample out of this population, which is a subset of animals from the population. And we estimate the parameters and we uh, compare it with the population or original parameters. So parameters have different notations. In case of population, mean is mu. In case of sample, it is x bar. In case of variance, in case of population is sigma square. In case of sample, it is s square. Standard deviation is simply sigma. And in case of sample, it is denoted by s. So we usually follow these notations uh, in our statistical studies. So first is mean. It is a statistic which is calculated by adding the quantities together and then dividing it by their number. Uh, it is a measure of central value because mean pushes everything towards center. So it is, it is a central value basically. And it is denoted by Greek letter mu. Mu is uh, equal to sigma yi divided by n where mu is average or mean sigma is sum or summation of values whatever comes after it basically sums all of them yi is milk yield of ith cow for example it is uh, um, and and i can be it, it can be four cows in our case and n is number of cows so it is simple to estimate mean uh, we have a, a small example here. We have four cows uh, with lactation milk yield of 1500 kilograms, 1700, 1800, and 2000 kilograms, respectively. So, how can we estimate mean of lactation milk yield in these four cows? So, first we need sigma yi, which is equal to y1 plus y2, y3. So, we add these four lactation milk yields coming up to 7,000 kilograms, and we have four cows, so 7,000 divided by four is 750 kilograms. Next is measure of variation or dispersion. It is variance, and it is defined by as average of the square deviation from the mean. It is a measure of dispersion. It is denoted by a Greek letter sigma square, and its formula is interesting, sigma yi minus mu squared divided by n minus 1. So, uh, mu is average, which we have already known, yi is milk yield of any uh, cow, and sigma is summation, and n is number of cows. So, we can uh, study uh, a small example. How can we estimate variance? For example, we have the same four. Uh, cows with the same data and uh, first we need um, average or mean which we have already estimated in slide 4 you can uh, get it from there it is 750 kilograms and now we move to a little table which we used which can be used to estimate variance we have numbered cows in first column 1 2 3 4 and their milk yields and then deviation from the mean. So we have subtracted mean from every, uh, from milk yield of every cow. So it is minus 250, minus 50, plus 50, 250. It should be zero here if you sum all of these values. And the next column is squared deviation from the mean. Now we will scare each of these values, 50, 250 squared, 50 squared, 50 squared, and 250 squared. So summation yi minus mu squared is 130,000 
so we have uh, got the numerator value and now we simply apply formula sigma square is uh, sigma square y i minus mu, mu square divided by n minus 1 so it is 130,000 divided by 3 and it comes out to 43,333.33 kilogram scales remember unit of variance is kilograms scale our next little parameter is standard deviation it is also a measure of dispersion or radiation and it is very simple to calculate standard deviation it is basically square root of variance so it is noted by a greek letter sigma standard deviation is sigma is equal to under root of variance under root of sigma squared so it is sigma so uh, continuing from the variance calculator from the last slide we have the value of variance it is right here 43,333 kilograms squared. So putting this value here under root of 43,333.33, it becomes 208.17 kilograms. So this is our standard deviation. So we can simply represent our mean plus minus standard deviation, which is a routine uh, way of uh, presenting our data so mean plus minus standard deviation is 750 kilograms mean plus minus 208.17 kilograms so we uh, successfully estimated standard error uh, standard deviation and now we come to standard error it is also a measure of dispersion and it is estimated by div dividing further standard deviation by square root of n where n is the number of subjects or animals in the sample. So standard error is standard deviation divided by n under root, continuing from the variance and standard deviation calculated from the uh, standard deviation calculated from the last slide. So it is uh, 208.17. Uh, what was it? It was 208.17. So 28.17 divided by 4 under root, so 28 divided by 2, it is 104.08. So mean plus minus standard error, if you want to show it like that, it is 750 plus 104.08 kilograms. So we got standard error and another very uh, parameter is a coefficient of variation. We uh, also, it, it is a way to represent the degree of variation relative to the size of mean. It is a useful parameter in uh, research studies. Its formula is simple. Its coefficient of variation is equal to sigma divided by mu or standard deviation divided by mean of the population multiplied by 100. So uh, here it is, uh, I need to put a little bit brackets to make it more clear for you because uh, sometimes you get confused so uh, mu is standard deviation of the trait and mu uh, uh, sigma is standard deviation of the trait and mu is population mean so continuing from the uh, previous data we already have calculated standard deviation which is 28.17 and mean 750 multiplied by 100 so our coefficient of variation for lactation milk yield comes out to 11.90%. So take home message from the uh, current lecture is uh, a clear population is totality of individuals, whereas sample is a subset of population. Mean is a measure of central value, whereas, whereas variance and standard deviation are measures of dispersion, including coefficient of variation. And population parameters are usually unknown due to large size of individual in a population unless we have a very small population we can easily calculate them and parameters mean and variances are estimated from the sample and it is assumed that they are close to population parameters thank you very much for your attention if you have any question any comments please contact me